Can you go with me to John chapter 3, verse 16? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And who was that? Jesus Christ. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So, Jesus doesn't want us to die in sin. Even though you may sin so much, even though you may do so wrong, I believe many of you can repent, ask, Jesus Christ for forgiveness and I believe you will be forgiven and believe you are forgiven. I hope this makes sense. You may say to me, Kevin, I continue to mess up. I continue to fall short. I continue to sin even though I don't want to. I continue to fornicate. I continue to lie. I continue to steal. I continue to do what is wrong. Listen now. Don't let failure be an excuse to get you to not live for Jesus Christ. I believe we all are going to are going to fail. I believe no human who is trying to live for Jesus Christ is doing everything right. So if that is true, what excuse do you really have? How can we live perfectly while we are in sinful flesh? How? If Adam and Eve sinned, what about us? What I learned and what I truly believe, living for Jesus Christ is like a race. A race until you die. So even if you come in third place, even if you come in fourth, 50th, 1,000th, 50,000th place, it doesn't matter. As long as you finish the race, you are good. But if you choose to fall and stay down and choose to not participate in the race, then that is when you truly fail is when you give up. By you falling, by you making mistakes, you have not failed, if you understand what I mean by that. You only fail when you give up. So even if you continue making mistakes, whatever. Am I saying that is okay? I am not saying that, but you are going to make mistakes. So stop thinking, stop saying to yourself that you are going to give up or living for Christ is not for you because you mess up. Don't allow messing up to discourage you from moving forward from adhering to God's word. I hope this makes sense. Let me stop here. God bless you.